McAllister from MacFit. Today we're working our abs, so grab a mat and let's get started. I'm so excited you're here with me today. We're gonna to be working our abs. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna burn, and we're gonna get it done. We've got seven different exercises that we're gonna be on for 30 seconds working and rest for about 10 seconds. We're gonna be repeating the entire circuit three times, so get ready for a good burn. We'll begin with the warm up, go into the ab exercises, and have a little cool down at the end. Okay, let's get started on our warm up. We're first gonna begin with plank walkouts. Come to the side of your mat. You're gonna reach down, walk out, breathe out, and feel the engagement in your core. The best thing you wanna pay attention to today is how your back is doing. Are you pulling in your belly button into your back, making sure that your core is properly engaged? The next thing that you wanna focus on with this exercise is if your hand is over your shoulders, or shoulders over your hand. Wrong way, right? Okay, let's do one more here. All right, now we're gonna take this exercise a little further. And we're gonna step up your knee here and do a little twist. And walk back up. Then on the next one, the other leg. I'm not gonna say rights and lefts because you and I will both be confused. All right, let's keep going. Don't forget to breathe. When you're keeping a strong breath, you're warming up the air in your body, warming up your muscles. All right, two more. Last one. Good, now walk back up. We're next gonna go into just some reaches, just engaging our obliques a little bit more. Getting our breath up a little bit. Making sure both sides of the body are warm. Hope you're feeling good. All right, now we're gonna go into some pitter patters. You're gonna be up on your toes and reach down to your calf. It's about three in between each. Because straight after this, we're going in to high knees. So get ready. In three, two, one. Now we're driving those knees up. Pumping those arms. The goal is to get your knees as high as you can. If you're not into the high impact, you're here, right? Just as effective. Again, make sure you're engaging your core. All right, pick your intensity level and stay with me. You've only got 10 seconds left, all right? Then you get a rest before going into our next exercise, which is a little lower in intensity. And rest. Now, come down on your mat. We're going to be doing a sit-up into an opposite knee crunch. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. So lay down here with me while we get ready. The three, two, one. Sit up, knee to elbow. Remember to breathe. Here is the low impact version. Right? Pick which one you're at and stay with me. Modification, low impact, high intensity, intermediate. It doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're working out. One more. Perfect. Turn over. Now we're into mountain climbers. Remember, we're going to be alternating intensity between each exercise. Remember with mountain climbers to have your shoulders over your wrists. Get up into your plank and let's get started. Drive that knee up towards your chest. Modification, you're not adding as much bounce. You're just making sure your back is flat, shoulders over wrists. Make sure proper form is everything when you're working your abs. You don't have to be going at that fast a pace to make sure you're getting a good burn. We're done. In three, two, one. Whew, take a rest. All right, this next one's a little trickier, and we're gonna be switching halfway through the 30 seconds. You're going to be sitting with one leg out, 
one knee up. We're gonna be driving through this heel, hand on the ground, arm up. And you're gonna be coming up and touch your toe. This one's a tough one. It's very deceiving, but it's good. It helps even more if you put your leg out wider. One more and switch. This knee in, this leg out, hand on the ground. Opposite arm to opposite toe. You've got this. Two more. One, two, and you're done. Okay, now we're standing up. We're all over the place, right? We're keeping our heart rate up. We're keeping our core engaged. We're gonna be coming to an oblique crunch on each side into a tuck jump. I'll show you the modification. Let's get started. Crunch, crunch, tuck jump. If this is where you're at, keep it going. I'll show you the modification. Crunch, crunch, two high knees. Okay, that's where you're at for the modification. If not, you're with me on the tuck. Crunch, crunch, tuck. You've got this. One more. Whew. That one gets me every time. Now, coming down onto our mats again. We're up and down here. Don't forget your breath to Russian twists. Remember to keep that back straight. This is heavily engaging our obliques here. Keeping your heels down or up if you're more intense, whatever you choose. We're just gonna touch our hands from side to side. Slow your breath. Get the heart rate down a little bit. Make sure everything's properly engaged. If you want a more intense exercise, your feet can come up. I'm not there today. This is where I'm at. And we're done in three, two, one. Whew. Now we're turning over. This is our last, last exercise of the set. We're going to plank jacks. Remember, shoulders over wrists. You're up here onto your feet and you're planking out. Plank jacks, right? You can go fast, you can go slow. And for modification, you're just stepping out. You keep going with whatever you choose. Remember, draw that belly button in. Make sure that belly's flat. Ooh, we're feeling the burn today. Sweat's starting to come. Feels good. You've got this. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Woo, catch your breath. I told you this is gonna be fast today. We're back up into set number two. We're almost halfway. Remember with the high knees, what you did the first time, if you're on the modification, stay there. If you want to challenge yourself, go for five seconds and then come back down. Whatever you choose, it's great. Let's get started. This is me pushing myself today. And I'm gonna keep going at this pace. Remember, modification is this here, all right? We've got this. Less than 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Catch your breath. Coming down to our mats for the sit up with opposite knee crunch. Okay, we're laying down here. Pick whichever leg you're starting out at. Let's get ready right now. Crunch. Bring the elbow up to your feet. Keep your chest up and keep your chin up. We don't want anything tucked down. We don't want anything too far up, right? Try to keep a neutral spine and your core's engaged. Hopefully yours is by now. Mine's burning. Done in three, two, one. Whew. Now we're turning over. Back into a little more high intensity with our mountain climbers. Remember, shoulders over wrists, and you've got this. In three, two, one. Now I don't care if your knees are coming to the middle. I don't care if you want to do a little side action, get some more obliques, whatever you want, whatever you choose. Remember, here's your modification if you forgot. We've got this. Remember to breathe. Drive those knees in. Knees into your chest. 
look down at the ground in front of you. We're done in three, two, one. Oh man. Now, we're back down to our sitting with our opposite hand to opposite foot exercise. So, one knee's bent, one knee straight, hand down, one other hand up in the air. And we're touching. We've got this. Feeling the burn in our core and our legs. Last one, then we're switching. Woo! Switch over to the other side. No break there. We've got this. Five seconds. One more. Woo! Such a good one. So deceiving. Right, now we're back up to our oblique crunch and tuck. Remember, you can modify the tuck jump to here or you can do a full tuck with me. Okay, arms up, knee to knee. Crunch, crunch, tuck, crunch, crunch, tuck. You can bring your knee out a little more if you're not feeling the engagement as much as you'd like. How high can you get? How fast can you go? Set your pace and stick with it. Last one. Woo. Catch your breath. All right. We're back down to Russian twists. I'm telling you, quick and effective workouts. So I like to get in and get it done. Remember, feet can come off the ground if you're wanting a little more advanced. Woo. I'm here. Feet on the ground. Back's mostly flat. Chest up. Keeping a neutral spine, just look a little far in front of you. We're twisting side to side. Remember to breathe. How we doing? If you're losing form a little bit, slow down. We're down to three, two, one. All right, we're turning back over to our plank jacks. You guys, we're more than halfway. After this one, we're on to our last set, then we're done. Let's burn it out. Let's give it all we've got, all right? We're up, shoulders over wrists. It's a nice, firm plank, and we're out to plank jacks. Remember, you're stepping out if you need the modification. If not, we're in and out. Remember to look down in front of you to keep that neutral spine. You've got this. This is a fun one to mix up. You can go side to side, whatever you want. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, take your breath. Remember, this is the last set. Then we're done. Give it all you've got on these last exercises. If you've been going slower than you'd like, pick up the pace. If you're doing modifications and you want to try for a little faster, you've got this. High knees, let's begin. We're running, we're pumping. This exercise makes me feel like I'm at some athlete tryout. And I'm gonna make the team. You've got this. Get those knees up, pump those arms like you're getting somewhere. Almost done. Got eight seconds left. Push it. We're done in three, two, one. Oh. Catch your breath. We're coming down to our sit ups. It's important when we're out of breath like this to make sure you're leaving space between your chest and your chin. So come to line, down to lying flat. Remember to breathe. Laying flat in three, two, one. And crunch. We are working our whole abdominal wall today. The ins and outs, the fronts, the backs, the side to sides. These are one of those workouts that you think you better have a six pack after this. Last two, one, two, breathe. All right, we're coming back over to mountain climbers. Remember to give it all you've got. Tighten that core. Make sure it's firm as if I'm gonna come over and push you over. That's how tight you should feel. All right, shoulders over wrists and let's begin. We're driving that knee forward. Make sure that back is flat. You've got this. Remember, here's your modification if you're there. 
If not, you're up here. Time for to breathe. Look down in front of you. Whew. There's that burn. You've got this. We're done in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh, and let go. Oh, my shoulders are feeling that too by this time. Okay, back down, sitting. Our legs bent, our legs out. Guys, we're almost there. In three, two, one. Drive through the heel. That's what you want to picture. That will help you get up. Woo! Last time bounce on that one. That's when you know the fatigue is setting in. One more. Yes! Now switch. We're almost done. One more. We did it. Okay. Now, oh, we're in our tuck jumps. I'm about ready to sit my butt on the ground. That's where I'm at. Remember, oblique crunch, crunch into our tuck. Let's go. Crunch, crunch, and tuck. Now, how high are you getting? How small is your tuck? Fast as slow as you want. Just remember, this is the last time you're doing this. All right. Let's pick it up. Crunch. Crunch. One more. Okay, two more guys, that's it. We're down into our Russian twist. You go for it, let's put the legs up. Should we do it? Okay, we're gonna do it. Back flat, I'm picking my heels up. Oh, we're going for the advanced. I shouldn't have told you I was gonna do it. But I'm gonna stick with you. We're in this together. My legs are staying bent. If you're crazy, your legs can be straight. I do not have the core strength for that anymore. We've got this. Remember to breathe. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. All right, this is our last exercise. We're in plank jacks. Remember to give it all you've got. You've got the modifications, you're just stepping out. Up into a plank, let's go. Shoulders over ribs. Focus on that form. You don't want your back to be crazy when you're going out. That back flat, belly button pulled in. You've got this. Look down in front of you. Remember to breathe. We're done in 10 seconds. You're almost there. This is our last one. Three, two, one. Oh, breathe. All right, come with me here to the middle of our mats. We deserve a nice, a nice cool down after this. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do a couple more of those. Oh, that feels good. Now, since we have so much core engagement, Let's come into Cobra here. Oh man, that feels good. Cobra is a great stretch for your core and your abs after you've done some work like that. <sighs> Feel that burn, the tightness, just release. <sighs> Relax your legs. <sighs> Relax your face. <sighs> Let's take one more breath together. All right, now come with me seated to the middle here for our last little cool down. This one you're gonna be seated, hand on the ground, and reach over to the side. Oh, it feels good. Your shoulders and your lats that we were engaging in all those planks. Oh, those obliques are stretching. I feel good. That was hard work, you guys. Being seven weeks postpartum, sometimes I think, oh, I can do it all. And, can't. I'm right there with you guys. 
but I set my pace, I got it done, and I hope you feel the same way too. Let's switch over and do each side once more. And back over. All right, I hope you feel like you just did a great workout because you totally rocked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Be back for more workouts. We'll see you again next time.